Hi everybody, I'm Jerome Wright here again, and um, I'm back here. I'm gonna do a um, a part two to this um, um, Percra um, painting that's at the um, as a memorial. It's a memorial memorial at the United Nations um, State Security Council chambers located in um, in New York. There, okay. I can't let this image go off so easily without letting you see what I can see in this image and um, sometimes I um, I get overdrawn and, and, and carried away with these with these images and all and this is this is going to be one of those cases and all because I just can't let it go now that I'm actually drawn to it okay now I'm not going to draw this video out this is going to be a shorter version this is going to be part two of this video of the first, okay, because that was long enough. That went into an hour. It's my position that everything down here represents that of reptilian, um, oceanic, and um, genetic bridgings and manipulations that actually calls for the ultimate existences of, of these beings up here, which are actually shown now in the egg form right here. And these are the new creations that resulted from what's down here, okay. Um, this 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 image by Craw is just a spin-off of everything that is already out there. These encryptions and these Renaissance artists and paintings, like the um, the slaying of the dragon. You see this guy standing here. He's standing on the tail of the of, of the um, of the dragon that's already shown with the knife through it, like you would see um, that in like Saint um, uh, Saint Jerome. Um, where he's actually slaying the dragon in many of his of his Renaissance paintings. All you have to do is just put in paintings of Renaissance artists, um, Saint Jerome, and then a lot of popes and saints you see standing on the tail of the dragon, which is this guy is actually doing here. You can see the uh, the dragon here wrapped around and the, the sword going through itself, showing his slaying, and this guy is on the tail. But what it's actually implying is that the dragon is genetically slayed slayed genetically I mean not genetically um, 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 in the physical sense it's done but genetically it's on and it shows you that it goes on through that of man it's showing you that his tail is, is bridged over to that of man and um, and that's what this is all about these, these bridges showing you at different levels that these bridges took place and it's the same representation that I'm that is my position that you can see in glyphs that are in um in um, ancient Egypt, um in An ancient Angkor Wat, um which is in Cambodia and um Japan. All of these people are saying the same thing: how mankind in Hindu culture, um, and how mankind evolved over um these creatures, these ancient creatures, and it's. It's all encrypted. It's this big secret. Like they don't want us to know our true origins. So I want to bring you back this image. The reason why I'm back here again in part two, I don't want to draw this out, is I'm going to call your attention over here to this woman because I say that I can see apes and I can I can see a bunch of stuff. In fact, you can see it. Uh, some of the stuff is actually highlighted there. Okay. I see all kinds of faces, to be totally honest with you. There's a face there, the woman is standing up on the chin, there's a face in the shadow, there's a mouth, there's a nose, there's an eye, and that's the mother of creation, and she's right there, this, I have this highlighted as a dinosaur face, then there's another image of her here, there's a skull there, representing that of like the, um, with the ape, when you see Jesus on the cross, and the skull down at the bottom, this is what all of this is implying. The same exact thing, but in just another form. And these um, genetic bridges. What I want to do is because I didn't show you the ape in the first video. I always like to show you the ape because the ape is the proof in the pudding that is my position that mankind is shown that where mankind evolved from through to ape, and then how ape was bridged over to give us these other likenesses, our counter, uh, our Caucasian counterparts. And these are where these um um. um uh, of what these um, these these images are representing these encryptions. Now, <clears throat> let me see if I can give you this ape without. Uh, actually, I see an image of an ape. I see the image of the ape right there in, in the in the front there. But I, I'm going to give you one that you can that you can actually look at. You can message a 
Google. <clears throat> All right. Take the image. This woman is shown climbing or being bridged over the genetics of that of um, reptilian ape, the whole nine there. Basically, <clears throat> all you have to do is take the image, Google the image, and turn it upside down. Okay? When you turn the image upside down, where is she at? Climb it up. Oh, right here. When you... Right? Let me see if I can bring it in close without distorting it. Right here. Get the image, Google it. There she is right there. You see where her foot is standing. There's an image of an ape right there. There's the eye, there's the nose, and then there's the mouth. It's also an image of a man there too. There's there's two images in one. It's a it's an ape morphing man image. Where her foot is, I'm gonna bring there you go. It's right here. There's the ape's face right there. The ape is wearing what seems to be like a helmet, like a garb over his head. Over that garb, you'll see her foot being bridged over. This is representing the semen of the ape. Now, there's another piece of it that's broken off, which is red, and it represents the blood of the ape, and that also has a face and all. These genetics, this is what genetic bridging is all about. It's showing you that this woman is being pulled genetically out of that of ancient genetics, after being bridged over that of ancient genetics of our ancestors. And it's showing you that it's almost like a genetic grail, what these images are. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like in a bigger version, because this is, this is poor. Of course, once you get to a higher resolution, you know. But there's our ape right there. There's the face of it. Now, what's incredible is that how this is self-verifying as you see that garb on top of that ape's head, what that ape is wearing over top of his head, lo and behold, the, the woman that's being pulled out, where in the world, where in the world is she at? Wherever she's being pulled, okay, there she is there. That woman being pulled out, she has the same cloth like on her head to give her it gives her the arise of being that of an Arab woman. Right there. The same thing here. I'm gonna show you again. Here's the eight. I gotta back this off. See the eight right there? There's the ape right there. There's the ape's nostril. There's the ape's snout. There's the ape's mouth. There's the ape's chin. There's that garb that the ape is wearing over his head. Showing you a bridging over. Okay. Showing you genetics being snaked out. This represents the ape's semen, which is what? One, um, one genetic line, and then the ape's blood, which is shown coming out of the semen on this side here. And almost like a demonic figure is right there. You people, you wouldn't even be able to see it or know that it was there if I did not bring your attention to it. What's being taken out? If you see, look, I can show you stuff being snaking all up through her leg, coming up her skirt. But more so that stands out is on the bottom of her foot, her foot, the way her foot is up. There's a face of a witch like woman. Her name, I dub her as the mother of creation. She's known as Medusa. Um, She's known as Madonna. She is in everything that is called for existence. Notice how the woman's foot is shown. This is a bridging. Look at this, people. There's the ape right there. All you have to do is turn that crawl painting upside down and bring it and enhance it. And... Not only will you see an ape's face there, there's also, it's morphing the face of a man with distinct lip features. Okay? I didn't put it in there because it would have confused what I was trying to show you here. Now I'm going to turn the woman back upside down again. Notice that she has, this is, this is not no regular hair here. If it, if it was, you would think that she was wearing a wig. 
it creates the rise that she's wearing a veil. She's veiled by the genetics. That's being shown here. She's bridged over. And that's what this is all about, people. The eight. I'm going to end this video with that there. There's no reason for me to go. I made a lengthy video referencing this already. I have another image here. Did I make any more drawings? Now, um, what else I can... Now, okay, I can do this. Let me see if I can show you this right quick. <clears throat> Wherever this witch like woman is, her presence is is a dominating presence presence. <clears throat> Again, she's always alongside of the eight. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. You see that woman there crawling out, shown crawling out of that that spot? This entire mass here creates the reptilian likeness of that same woman. Here's her bottom lip, partially open mouth, here's her top lip coming up over the bridge of her nose. Um, her eye would be here showing you the emerging of these genetics that came through from her. They go from their largest likeness, and I can show you her in her smallest likeness. I can go from the very least to the very largest. And that's what this is all about. Showing you how we were bridged over. If you even look into the garments of the woman, you can see her likeness there. Um, here, shown with the rope, which are genetics in the mouth. I'm um, right there in the mouth. There's the nose, there's the eye, there's the impression of the face, the forehead, right there. There's the eye. See that? Showing you which genetics are being taken from this cocktail which originated down here and is showing you how they're pulling out and in which fashion that they are coming out. I can show you the same thing occurring on this side as well too. These genetics being pulled off at different levels tells you exactly what's going on genetically, what were the flaws, what were what was um, bridged over? What was extracted? The behavior. This here. You wonder why this guy coming out like he's a zombie. This is what Da Vinci references in his encryptions as a prisoner, a genetic prisoner, which indicates why there there are strings and ropes on on this on these beings, showing you that they are a prisoner of this genetic bridging. There's strings attached. On this side, you see the raised arms. You see up here that there's um, a group of uh, a men and all. It shows you cross-referencing. It shows you where these genetics are going in, in this direction. You see a gun here going off that way with a bayonet on it. You see a stick going off that way. All of these references, these encryptions, represent how... This down here, which I already showed you, which shows you the dragon, bridged over that of the uh, oceanic, like with the, the fish with the open mouth, shows you how these genetics were bridged over and evolved onto land. These representations can be shown and realized in many different forms and many different fashions. The entire image, people, has references of that. I want to show you something else. Because I can see her face, meaning the mother of creation, 
in multiple areas here. Well, I showed you up here already. I can show you her face here. You see that likeness? It looks like a cartoon. That's the same likeness that is down here in this mask. The entire thing creates her face. Looks like looking like a cartoon. Look over here. There's her chin, her mouth, her nose, her eye. There. Then it's morphine again. There's her nose. There's her eye shown in the blood way. Right there. Then over here. It's showing you how this these genetics came up bridged over and it's showing you the direction from where they're going this entire mass can be read like a genetic grill I want to show you something else before I go which is another encryption style if I can pull it up again <laughs> I just lost it because I lost uh, 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 I actually I kind of didn't use it. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, I can't. I can't show you that there. All right, I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this video with that. I just wanted you to see that the ape and the representation of the woman, what she has in likeness on her head here is identical to what she is shown stepping out of here and it's showing that these creatures look showing this man look bridging over he's climbing over the they're being they're bridged over she's stepping on and stepping out you see the man they're bridged over that of our black Ape ancestors. And it's showing you new genetics being created. And it's my position, if you look at all my videos, that Africa is being bridged over. Changing the form of our originating initiating genetics to that to create other genetics which actually e um, evolve through to becoming different likenesses of mankind and all of these renaissance artist paintings or artwork that signifies the creation of mankind is stating the same exact thing how we got from ape likeness to likenesses that we are today and this is how you got black from white and this is how you got our other civil money civilizations of other people from that of the likenesses of our ape ancestors and black ancestors they were genetically bridged over it even shows you the evolutionary passages of the ape which I can actually go more in detail than that than this here but this is what this is all about um, this is the um, per crow um, per crow um, a moral and it's at the New York um, what you call them, building New York um, um, Security Council chambers United United Nations Security Council chambers and I'm telling you that this painting is nothing more than everything that is being suppressed from mankind as in, in suppressed in plain sight in plain view as to how mankind was created where he genetically evolved from and where he's genetically going and capable of going 
That's what this is all about. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. Look at these faces. At the forehead, at the eye, at the eye, nose, mouth. Reptilian-like face. Look at that. Look at the stuff snaking off. Now, this is in the cluster of, of people there. And this is the way that they did it. Especially in, in, in ancient biblical um, Renaissance art. Look right here. Look at the faces. The morphine faces. Look. At a chin, at a mouth. Look at how the bodies cluster together. Create these faces and then the likeness is ultimately evolving you shown up in here even this child laid across the top showing you a bridging from one side to the other the like which is down here with this with this um with this um, um I'm dragging and then it shows you a face right there in the middle the cause for it all and what is what is genetically dominating in this new egg of life that is created kind of makes you wonder how all of this down here, this darkness, the founding stones, the found, you know what this is? The, the, the found, the building blocks to that of mankind, showing you the levels, different levels of genetic bridging, mentioning of some animals, genetic bridging, which ultimately came here, and new egg, life forms created. It even shows you this new child down here, that miracle baby, which resulted from something that began here long, 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 long ago with prehistoric creatures of our world, which included oceanic land and beings that pretty much evolved from a celestial place in space, and, and, and um, where I actually discovered that to be as well, too. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. There's much more. I thanks again. Um, um, oh, I forget. I forget this guy's screen name. Um, Turbos, Turbos. And that's with a Z at the end. Turbos Nine, who actually brought this to my attention. Okay, and um, <clears throat> this is at the United. Nations Security um, Council Chambers in New York. And this image is officially decoded by me as being a reference of a grail of how mankind was bridged over after being created through a process. That evolved that 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 evolved that involved creatures of our world and this was an extinctive process I'm not saying that this was aliens you know I'm telling you that this knowledge these creatures were intelligent beings from the, from the get-go from the get-go and while we on this topic it's my position since I since I'm since I'm here with this topic and all you probably say well how is this intelligent it's my position that and with each planet which I'm stating that are eggs which are as they become an extinction and an and an and an um in danger of being extinct by the sun to that point like Venus and Mercury is my position that life began on those planets jumped over to the next and now jumped over to the next which is our planet which is earth and it's my position that life was never on mars as we're being mis um, uh, um, being misguided to believe it's my position that mars is a frozen mass with space matter on top dust particles on top and now as the sun, the radiation of the sun, heats that planet as it's heating ours right now. That planet will become a liquid planet like our planet is. We will start to see um, 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 
Arctic caps form on that planet. If it, they already haven't already, I believe that there might be one or two. I don't know. Okay, but it's my position that it's a it's a it's a frozen solid mass that will become an unthawed, and we all know that once something becomes unthawed, lip condensation and liquid is produced, and this is where these atmospheres come from. Once the, the the gases and the liquids, I mean these liquids that are on the surface are frozen, are holding all of these things in. Once Mars becomes become um, to the point where it's starting to thaw out, like you would take a piece of chicken out of the refrigerator. It's my it's my position that this is where the decay, or the decay um de decomposition, decomposition begins, and in this de decomposition comes methane gases, come, um, come, um, come um, fluids, um, condensation, the evaporation process, and once these, 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 these um, elements are released from that frozen ball, which I'm say, stating is Mars, they go to a level so far from where space allowed them to go, and they're captured. And this is how our atmospheres are created on these planets. Um, with that, I'm stating that Venus and and um, and Mercury were with the life forms that combined the first one in order. At, what is it? I'm, I'm Venus, Mercury. I mean, yeah, I think it's Venus. Was it um, or Mercury, Venus? Well, whatever one is first, whatever Mercury, and then um then the life jumped over to Venus, evolved to Venus. There's a combination of the two now of these life forms then which in my mind would have had to have been um, 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 in, in, in the sense of being reptilians not even Martians then there's an evolutionary step off to over to um, our planet which evolved through which I'm finding, finding to believe reptilians and oceanic a combination of, of, of Mercury and Venus life forms on our, in our world now now we're in our world, and we have a combination of Venus, I mean Mercury, Venus, and Earth. And now, look at what we are doing. We are talking about colonizing on Mars. A place that is already supposed to have life on it. A place that is supposed to be this desolate place where there's no life that can be. It's been there before, it can't be again. So, what the hell is NASA doing, wasting all of this precious time being there for NASA is there contaminating that planet with genes from our world. Because everything that I'm telling you now, either they know, or they think they know, or they're just wasting their time, which I do not believe. It's only logical, it's only logical, people, that these objects in space are frozen balls of eggs. I mean, fr frozen egg balls. They're, they're eggs. Frozen. Solid. Earth is going through its, its process now of losing its water. It was, in, it was a frozen mass. It's going through a period of being thawed out. Liquid is being extracted from a planet through the evaporation process of the sun's radiation. It's my position that everything that we're going through right now Mercury and Venus have been through in the past, and those life forms evolved onto our world. What we are going through right now is an extinction process of the same sort in nature. And we are leaving our world and going and seeking out other worlds in the same sense and fashion. This is what I believe is happening. This is what I sense is happening and through my paranormal experience and encounter. This is for a, 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 my factual finding what I know is happening. I then found these celestial life forms in space. I know where they come from, where it was places where stars are supposed to be being created. This stuff is actually, I can, I mean, what I'm showing you here is in space. Where stars are supposed to be being created. There's a hidden knowledge, people. And this is answering everything on why we have all of this ancient, these ancient presences that were there, but now they're not there. 
But nobody seems to have anything. And the people that's in the best position to enlighten us are not doing it. These, ancient, these kings and queens, ancient rooted kings and queens, and the Vatican, they've been, their, their knowledge is the most, they're the most richest people on this planet, pretty much. These people, and, and I'm talking about riches as far as knowledge. The Vatican has been around since God knows when. This ancient knowledge has been with them from the beginning. But they can't tell you a damn thing. A damn thing. Then what the hell, if you can't tell me where I truly came from, what's going on with me, then what the hell do I need you for? Same thing with kings that y'all worship, kings and queens. Bowing down to them. The same exact thing. Kingships and, and, and queenships has been around since the beginning of that of mankind, but yet no one is coming forward telling you anything. No, no one except for Jerome Wright. Me. Telling you and breaking down these paintings to you. How come they're not doing it? They were around before I was. Why is this knowledge being suppressed? You know why? Because it has a cult, pagan-like worship behind it. And they know that it's wrong because it involves not only homosexual acts, um, 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 lesbian acts. It, it involves um, um, bridging over children. It involves bridging over animals. There is a darkness behind all of this that they do not want you to know. They rather you believe that there is this higher divine power that is the cause for all of your creations. And yet, I'm the first person ever on this planet to tell you that the cross... The symbol of the cross. This. This symbol right here. That symbol, the cross, is a poor symbol, of course. If you ask anybody in religion, whether it may it be ancient or... They say it's better not to ask. It's just a symbol of a divine a worship of power, higher power. It's better not to ask. It's better to be felt. That's bullshit. You know what this means? The cross-referencing... Of mankind's genetics and the creatures of our world. That's what the cross means. Exactly what it says. Cross. It's cross referencing of that of genetics. Cross referencing of genetics, of genes. That's what this means. Cross referencing of genes. This has nothing to do with divinity. Nothing. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. I made this a little longer than what I wanted to. I just wanted to let you know this likeness, this woman, from what she's wearing on her head, being pulled out of this abyss, you can see the faces. Okay, there's other ones there that I can show you too, people, but I just wanted you to see the ones that you can identify with. I can see a bunch of them, but the main one I want you to see is this ape with this squire like cap on which represents a genetic bridging from off the apes genetics you see this guy climbing over top of it showing you that this creature is bridged over and their genetic bloodline semen and blood created and that's why you have these two-headed snakes, which i actually shown you down here in that video there. All right, I'm going to let this video go. I'm going to post it, and I'm done for the day. Um, probably take a few days off. Um, again, thank you to Turbos9 for, um, for bringing this, um, this painting uh, moral, um, moral to, my, um, to my attention. And, um, and I'll leave it at that. Hopefully this is, this is semi-viral. If not... I'll see you in my next video because I have a passion for this stuff. This this is a part of me. You know what I mean? I am everything that this is and more. Thank you. Showing you at different levels that these bridges took place. And it's the same representation that I'm that is my position that you can see in glyphs that are in um in um, ancient Egypt, um in an ancient Angkor Wat, um 
which is in Cambodia and um, Japan, all of these people are saying the same thing, how mankind and Hindu culture, um, and how mankind evolved over um, these creatures, these ancient creatures. And it's, it's all encrypted. It's this big secret. Like, they don't want us to know our two origins. So, I want to bring you back this image. The reason why I'm back here again in part two, I don't want to draw this out, is I'm going to call your attention over here to this woman because... I say that I can see apes and I can I can see a bunch of stuff. In fact, you can see it. Uh, some of the stuff is actually highlighted there. Okay, I see all kinds of faces. To be totally honest with you, there's a face there. The woman is standing up on the chin. There's a face in the shadow. There's a mouth. There's a nose. There's an eye. And that's the mother of creation. And she's right there. This I have this highlighted as a dinosaur face. Then there's another image of her here. There's a skull there representing that of like the um, with the ape when you see Jesus on the cross and the skull down at the bottom. This is what all of this is implying. The same exact thing, but in just in another form. And these um genetic bridge in the egg form right here. And these are the new creations that resulted from what's down here. Okay, um, this, this, this image by Craw is just a spin-off of everything that is already out there. These encryptions and these Renaissance artists and paintings. Like the, um, the slaying of the dragon. You see this guy standing here. He's standing on the tail of the, of, of the, um, of the dragon that's already shown with the knife through it. Like you would see um, that in like St. Saint, um, uh, Saint Jerome. Um, where he's actually slaying the dragon in many of his of his Renaissance paintings. All you have to do is just put in paintings of Renaissance artists, um, Saint Jerome, and then a lot of popes and saints you see standing on the tail of the dragon, which is this guy is actually doing here. You can see the uh, the dragon here wrapped around and the, the sword going through itself, showing his slain, and this guy is on the tail. But what it's actually implying is that the dragon is genetically slayed slayed genetically I mean not genetically um, 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 in the physical sense it's done but genetically it's on and it shows you that it goes on through that of man it's showing you that his tail is, is bridged over to that of man and um, and that's what this is all about these, these bridging if I can bring it in close without distorting it right here get the image google it there she is right there you see where her foot is standing there's an image of an ape right there there's the eye there's the nose and then there's the mouth it's also an image of a man there too there's there's two images in one it's a it's an ape morphing man image where her foot is I'm gonna bring there you go it's right here there's the ape's face right there. The ape is wearing what seems to be like a helmet, like a garb over his head. Over that garb, you'll see her foot being bridged over. This is representing the semen of the ape. Now there's another piece of it that's broken off, which is red, and it represents the blood of the ape, and that also has a face and all. These genetics, this is what genetic bridging is all about. It's showing you that this woman is being pulled genetically out of that of ancient genetics, after being bridged over that of ancient genetics of our ancestors. And it's showing you that it's almost like a genetic grail, what these images are. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like in images. What I want to do is, because I didn't show you the ape in the first video, I always like to show you the ape, because the ape is the proof in the pudding that is my position that Mankind is shown that where mankind evolved from through to ape and then how ape was bridged over to give us these other likenesses, our, counter, uh, our Caucasian counterparts. And these are where these, um, 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 uh, what these, um, these, these images are representing, these encryptions. Now, <clears throat> let me see if I can give you this ape without. Uh, actually, I see an image of an ape. I see the image of the ape right there in the in the front there, but I, I'm going to give you one that you can that you can actually look at. You can message Google. <clears throat> All right. Take the image. This woman is shown climbing or being bridged over the genetics of that of um, reptilian ape, the whole nine there. 
basically, <clears throat> all you have to do is take the image, Google the image, and turn it upside down. Okay? When you turn the image upside down, where is she at? Climb it up. Oh, right here. When you... Right? Hi, everybody. I'm Jerome right here again. And, um... I'm back here. I'm going to do a, um, a part two to this, um, um, per crawl, um, painting that's at the, um, it's a memorial, it's a moral, memorial at the United Nations, um, State Security Council Chambers located in, um, in New York there. Okay. I can't let this image go off so easily without letting you see what I can see in this image and um, sometimes I um, I get overdrawn and, and, and carried away with these with these images and all and this is this is going to be one of those cases and all because I just can't let it go now that I'm actually drawn to it okay now I'm not going to draw this video out this is going to be a shorter version this is going to be part two of this video of the first, okay, because that was long enough. That went into an hour. It's my position that everything down here represents that of reptilian, um, oceanic, and um, genetic bridgings and manipulations that actually calls for the ultimate existences of, of these beings up here, which are actually shown now 